When you were 12, did you know what uh, IT meant? Like a career. <laughs> did you have any person like role model you would look after? Look up to? Like someone? Yeah, well I do not have and I wish I had. Well, and my idea is mostly about that. About what if we do that? Like, what if we, g to g members that are so many, become role models for our little ones? What if we bring more children to our events and to our activities? And what if we think of IT development in the long term? Because when we do events and we just ask developers to come, okay, we're develop, we're helping them, but we're not doing it in the long term, we're just doing it right now. But we can start it like 10 years before. So the idea is about uh, making like an initiative about big brothers and big sisters. Like I'm sure you all heard about it, maybe you have it in your country, maybe you have been a big brother or little brother, I don't know. But what if we do it, and it could be very simple, very easy, very voluntary, just make it what you want. It could be face-to-face -face or hangouts, like it could be local or global, like someone while well, you were speaking your language or someone international. It could be one, two hours per week, how many you wish. And it's all about sharing information and resources. Because someone, for instance, in a Georgian village will not know as many as you do and will not have any links or any information about, about the career itself. Like, they, he will choose like being a lawyer or she will choose being a doctor. That's very traditional, but they don't know it. Another would be to assist them in a tech project. Like, they want to do something and you just have ideas what they can use. And, uh, okay. Uh, what they can use, or like, how can they make it happen, or just like give them good hands. And again, it's all about inspiring, because you're the ones that are successful already. You're the ones that they they feel like you know they have, they want to be yourself when like ten years from now, five years from now, and you can give give them inspiration. And it's not like you know giving inspiration like from a recent paper. It's just inspiration that you give, very interpersonal. Like, I was a big sister, you know, I'm not big, I'm just 21, but I was a big sister of a girl, two girls from villages of Georgia, they were like 13 and 14. And I really think that it's an amazing feeling to have someone who is looking at you and wants to be you, and then you see them succeeding. It's, it's an amazing feeling. So, why should we care? Uh, well, we all know that the children are the future, and it is really true. It's not only in songs, it's in. And we have been doing projects that target children like our code. So it's not really un unfamiliar for us. And you know, it can be more involvement for our members because this is a project that you involve your members with tell them, hey, you can be a big brother and you can do this. So it could increase involvement, even maybe Googlers can join us. And what can we do next from now? Um, well, I'm, I'm really excited to hear your feedback. Maybe you think it's a silly idea you have ever heard in, uh, in your life, or if you like it. Uh, if you like it, we can uh, do it on an unconference session about it. Um, afterwards, if, you're like, uh, if you like it, we can do like a small group of organizers uh, like in a local or global scale. Uh, then, of course, you recruit mentors and mentees, do matching, and start the future. So um, if you're in, just see me sometime. Thank you. Woo! find children in schools or just in the local communities, so 
Sting coming up, Sting Chen, and uh, our rules after that, and we'd also like to get Abdel Halim Madrid over here to get staged as well, okay?